Friday morning. It's been raining all night. It started about 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon and it has just poured and the weather forecast for the weekend is more of the same. In fact, more and it gets worse. And in another car park, this time a car park with a view. I don't know the name of the hills. We talk about the hill foots. It takes you out to St Andrews. The view is the local cinema. It's not very big, but it's up to date. It shows modern movies. There is a storm on the way. They showed you uh, satellite photographs on the news. And this storm is thousands of miles wide. And I think it's going to miss England, but Scotland, we are the lucky ones. We get the full force of it over the weekend. So more rain. I just wish more of my roof was complete. Last night lying in bed listening to the rain. It doesn't hit the tiles because there are areas of the roof with no tiles. So it hits that um, waterproof membrane and it sounds like somebody doing a drum solo. Uh, but it's not very musical. Fortunately, I was able to go back to sleep uh, very quickly. But I woke a couple of times through the night just listening to the rain banging on the roof. I don't think there's been any uh, any damage. No water has come in through the, the membrane. It seems to be doing the job it is uh, uh, made for. On YouTube, I watch a lot of videos every day by a guy called James Cook. He lives in England and uh, he has a Tesla and he talks a lot about electric vehicles and he makes good sense. This week he has uh, been doing a video, a vlog, about uh, how to do proper vlogging. And uh, he says there are three main things. First of all, you have to get uh, good lighting, which I don't. It's pretty obvious. And then you have to have good sound. And I use my phone, so obviously I don't get good sound either. And then you have to have good content. And that made me think, why did I start doing uh, vlogs? Well, my boys could remind me that uh, six months ago, I was telling them that every day listening to the news in the car, I used to rant and rave at, at, at anybody who couldn't listen anyway. I just ranted and raved over the top of the steering wheel about things that had been on the news. And I said to them at the time, you know, I should start a vlog doing this. And now, six months later, I've been doing this vlog on not every day, but most days. And I don't really do the ranting and raving that I thought I should be doing. And in a way, I suppose that that goes against some of my own principles. I say my own principles. It's a very simple thing. Do what you're going, do what you say you're going to do. Do it when you say you're going to do it. And do it the way that you're going to do it. Do it the way you say you're going to do it. You get my meaning. Anyway, these are not my principles. It comes from watching a guy from, I think he's from Texas in the United States. His name is Larry Winget. And uh, Larry Winget has written six books. And he's a very good motivational speaker. Uh, he is referred to as the bulldog. No, that's not right. It's um, the pit bull of motivational speaking. And uh, really, he goes at things quite aggressively, but really because he gets his point, he wants to get his point across. And I think um, he can become quite, not angry about things, but quite spirited, I think, or emotional about the fact that things are not done the way people expect them to be done. And um, 
you know people expect a certain level of service but they don't give it themselves so why should they expect it in return anyway have a look at larry wing it i think his, his his website is just larrywingit.com something like that if you google larry wing it wing it is w i n g e t um, and he's, it's really good fun to watch anyway in future i'm going to try and go back to the principles of um, doing what I thought I said I would do, and ranting and raving about things in the news. We'll see how that works out for me, and for you. Hope you're going to have a good weekend. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.